Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how you can disable ZRAM which is something very similar to the paging file as I guess on Windows. It has become the common method for the swap partition to replace the swap partition on some of Linux distributions. So I'm going to show you how you can disable it as well as switching to the swap partition so to disable it we have two options the first one is to remove a package called ZRAM generator defaults it's gonna delete automatically another package called ZRAM generator the second method is to make a configuration file that should be empty and that configuration file will prevent ZRAM generator as I guess from generating the ZRAM the package or the way to do such thing is to run this command sudo touch slash etc slash systemd slash zram dash generator dot com if we try to look for this by running ls we will not find it so we simply make it choose whichever you like afterwards reboot your system to check if we have a, a zram enabled we run this command swap on and we can see that we have ZRAM if you get similar output with some differences like the size or the name it's it means that you have ZRAM enabled on your system the second way to check is by running the command ZRAM CTL and it proves that we have ZRAM enabled on our system so I'm gonna run the command to delete the package which is sudo dnf remove zram generator defaults and then we press y and then I'm gonna restart my system to prove to you that I disabled the zram successfully Okay. now we make sure we delete this package my system has been rebooted successfully if we check uh, the command ZRAM CTL to see if we have ZRAM installed or set up on our system or not we get no output until now if you simply wanted to disable the ZRAM you are done because some people may not need it and may not need the swap itself there are some conditions for such thing I guess Kubernetes is one of them I guess to run or to use Kubernetes you need to disable the swap does that include the ZRAM I don't know but in any case you simply wanted to disable the ZRAM this, the, this was how to do it if you wanna continue to enable the swap you should install a package called uh, gparted it's famous and known and I guess as long as you're watching you know what it is if you don't know just install it and follow what I'm gonna show you now it is gonna help us uh, enable this one for me gparted is installed after you install it you run the command sudo gparted or you run it from your launcher you go to your launcher on your desktop environment or your window manager and you run sudo or you open the application and it will not let you run it unless you have the sudo privileges okay you need the sudo privileges because it will do some changes on your system in our case it's the partition table all right when you are doing this thing with me you need to be very careful at least make sure you have some empty space on your system 
and this can cause you some data loss so you need to be very careful with this okay so we do resize we reduce the size as much as we want let's keep for example 8 gigabytes in my case I have chosen 8793 megabytes press resize and then this are in allocated new make it Linux swap click odd and then apply after you click this tick here or this check mark or whatever you call it I don't know the exact name okay it won't take so long as I guess you just wait for it and it's gonna tell you that it's done successfully you may need to back up your data so it's done here already afterwards the next step you can do it using the terminal or using gparted in my case my swap is here uh, slash dev slash sda5 you can simply uh, select right click and then select swap on or you can simply run the command sudo swap on slash dev slash sda5 like this password and it's on refresh here and it's gonna give us a sign that it is on already yeah look at how it has become it's on okay let's check running ls plk grab swap swap yes so it's a partition as you can see it should be uppercase before we close make sure you subscribe like share and comment watch one of the videos that you see right now and see you